Is Everybody dumb. with a hot mom is always dyslexic. <laughs> That's what it is. Those titties cross you up. Damn, we waste no time, huh? Not an effect. That oh, we get right into it. Fuck your shit, you favorite part is intro is how deep he's not in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like it like that, though. We just gotta put up like a blur, just him in the middle. We gotta put him in it. I'm, I'm working on it. Almost DC, like, well, believe it or not, I'm NBC, on it. just a title, just a name. Oh, just almost like we're like FaceTiming him or something. What if it's like a point five <laughs> seconds? Like, no, really quick. I like yeah. the FaceTime yeah. shit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, just That's a blur. Yo, what's this up, is, man? Yo, what up, baby? Same old shit, man. Cut me off again, see what happens. All right, all right. Yo, this is Doped Up and Dying this Sunday morning smoke show. I'm your host, Kevin Sanchez. These are my two co-hosts, Dylan J. Negri and the crazy DC Williams. I'm not even that crazy. Nah, you're not even that, <laughs> not nah, even that uh, crazy. Listen, you're my comedy hero, bro. Remember that. <laughs> all times, yo. This guy made a crippled guy stand up, yo. This is what Whoa. he does, yo. He don't fuck around. He did that shit out of open mic. Wow. <laughs> I thought like I could go better show, intro man. as well. <laughs> Kevin, I feel like uh, I could have done uh, it. like, gas my shit <laughs> up. Yo, yo, my <laughs> man, my man, my <laughs> man. I feel like two, I got a little bit of weed. My man, the $2,000 man. Yo. Hey! Out, out here man. finessing to a private event. You want me to give you a better price? You want me to not today's <laughs> price? Yo, don't be, don't be, don't be stealing. Was that your mic or my mic? Oh, my bad. Finessing. Yo, don't be stealing my guy, uh, Fat Joe shit, bro. That's disrespectful. That's cultural oh appropriation, God. bro. Let me tell you about yourself, bro. Congrats no, we're getting booked. Why don't you introduce nah. our guest? No, nah, well, first of all, <laughs> yo, my man, don't be telling me <laughs> what to do. Out here. <laughs> it's how people die, bro. But no. This guy's, he don't know me, but I know this motherfucker. Boop. Uh-oh. Boop. Boop. I be seeing him around. <laughs> <laughs> I be seeing him on the IG, uh, back then IG lives. I remember he be, I mean, you be saying some wild shit. Yeah, I, You be uh, talking to these women like, nah. Bro. I have fun. I have fun. You have a lot Well, not anymore, fun. but that was back in the day. Like, yes, it's. Uh, Levis, yes, Levis has, has since been humbled by Thai food. By Thai food? That's disrespectful. <laughs> We're going to get into that, though. Right. Give it up for my guy. He has a great show called The Left Fur Show. Give it up for Left Fur, y'all. Let's Woo! go. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Good to be here. I love these intros, man. These are nice. <laughs> like, we can do long, do you, drawn I mean, out intros. How often do you get like a Spanish Harlem dude giving you an intro? Um, I mean, I pay 200 bucks a night for that. Let's but, go! <laughs> no, uh, not that often. I live uptown, too, but I don't do a lot of uptown shows. Oh, shit. Are you on the yeah. east side or west side? Uh, east. East. Okay, yeah, I grew up... Uh, There's no nice. shows over there, though, really. Yeah. yeah. I'm That's in not... White Harlem, which is in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> it's like scary for us. Actually, there's a new show happening on 117th and 1st Avenue, and I'm gonna, I know the booker now, so all you guys... It's good. I mean, it's gonna be crazy though. I was scared walking in there. It was like through an. It was oh, legit bro, through an alleyway. I hate every show that Kevin does. Shit, it's like, yo, it's gonna be the best show. It's mad scary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's spooky. bro. My show's not scary, and you still don't come up town. So I don't even know what this guy's talking about. Anything above 59th Street scares this guy, bro. It's not true. He's not going up. <laughs> not true. He's not going Dylan? up. Yeah. <laughs> no, come on. no way, right? You don't know about. Well, he's got this two thousand dollars to protect. No. <laughs> Let me tell you, I want to be a lower Manhattan comic, and I can't do oh, that specific, if I break my this, integrity 90s? by going to like one. 20th. 45th. <laughs> it's uh, not even 145th. Even people, people don't understand how Gangster Dilla in. Just they last think he night, has integrity. Just they, cut me off again, bro. Right. Just <laughs> last night, just last night, he made a uh, Vietnam vet almost kill himself, bro. Like, he's on, on at a show, at a comedy show, bro. This guy is insane, <laughs> you one bro. one of our fucking veterans, dude. Yeah, I, did. I did 20 right before... minutes at a show last night, and there was a, uh, an older guy who like he like he said something, and then I started going in at him. And then when he came up to me after the show, I saw he had like a Vietnam War veteran head. Oh no! Hat, and like as he got closer, I was like, "Oh, I, I'm like, I'm, this, like, it'd be funny. If this is the way I die. Like if out of all the things I die it's from in a nice no, little Vietnam show vets. I, I had the ple the pleasure of like uh, doing things with them when I was in the army. Mm -hmm. They're the <laughs> kindest, sweetest people I've ever met. Like the the whole shit is about. I mean, they they lived through so much shit, bro. They've been in that shit. They don't. They don't care. They want to laugh. Yeah, losing yeah, a dude. war makes you soft, bro. But that also, is <laughs> doing. First of all, we didn't lose that war. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we, we just decided to stop winning. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're winning too much. <laughs> now I did. A, I remember years and years ago. I, they used to have an open mic at a VFW in uh, 
What is a VFW? VFW is veteran in Jersey. I don't even remember what that's. It's like for a anymore. veteran for French whores. It's like a, <laughs> it's where basically veterans. It's like a dying thing. veterans of foreign wars. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little. It's, it's like a clubhouse for exactly. for for. for uh, They're really shitty. Foreigners. It's all wood paneling and like former. You, you know, you're up there. I was like two years in. You're up there bombing with fucking. Yeah. Tr- like you know, you because they, they tell you flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the first thing they tell you when you go to the VFWs is like, please be clean. Right? Oh really? I mean, last time I did, I didn't. Yeah. I, I remember I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna go all the way." But I was talking to this guy after, and he was like, "He's like, yeah, what am I gonna get offended at a joke? I got fucking Agent Orange eating my ass up." He's like, "I'm gonna be dead in two years. You want me to fucking be mad about this?" He's like, "I don't have shins yeah. anymore." Yeah, man. It I gave me a lot of perspective, man. That's fucking. Yeah. I didn't even know what that shit was until he said it. But I we, still don't know what it is, and VFW? I'm just out here, here pretending. No, oh, Agent Orange. Agent, it was Agent Orange. Like infection, though, isn't it? It yeah. was like we used chemical weapons uh-huh. on, like, to clear out all their like vegetation to uh-huh. like clear out their woods and shit, oh, wow. their trees, and basically like they didn't realize it was just like murking our fucking soldiers, like Jeez. mutating them and shit. It's wow. like really nuts. I thought like, Agent Orange was how you made Sunny D. <laughs> <I was like>. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's probably Wait, right. Did you serve in the military? <laughs> huh? You, you were you were in the military? A, yeah, I was in the military. I was part of the most prestigious unit in the army called Nicholas the Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I was, was a wild boy. boy. I was in the infantry. He, he asked uh, to be in the front line. About it. Say again. He asked asked to be in the front line. I didn't ask. I just uh, my, my bro, me and my brothers are dumb. He didn't right. ask. He's a minority. <laughs> <laughs> it's where they go. <laughs> it's the front line. Yo. Every time you tell me that, it blows my mind because there was a time in your life where you, tell you were something? so at fuck it. Well, they, well, listen, my whole life been fuck it since since that's crabs true. in a. I mean, my whole life is crabs in a bucket. Fuck it, bro. Like that's. I grew up. Is that the I grew up. Yeah, it is kind of a saying. I grew up in East Harlem, bro, and I grew up in East Harlem when that shit was wild, bro. Like, mm-hmm. still, wild. you could have. It's still wild over well, there. I can't uh, but, get over crabs in a bucket. Fuck it. Uh, but it's 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 so wild over there that the only reason why it's a little bit safer is because they have the Starbucks. These, po- no, they have these police street lights. It's like the Batman signal, bro, but it makes a whole, at shit. night, it makes yeah. a whole block white. Yeah, I know you're talking about the NYPD shit. Mm-hmm. has a camera on it with the lights and shit like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good time, Surveillance though. is all. It's good. a good time, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lev. Yo. Yo. What stop. were you doing before comedy? Um, I was fucking your mom for a little while. Oh, <laughs> his mom's a piece. Did you know that? I can see you having a yeah. hot mom. Yeah. You have like the hot. face of like you have a hot mom. <laughs> I have the face of my mom. Yeah. Your mom's got nice soft features. <laughs> you want to fuck me, Lev? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Chill. Yeah. Like both of you guys. The first time I saw Lev, he had his comedy documentary on YouTube. But you still have this shit up there? Uh, I think it's still up there, but it's funny. I walked into the Stan Green Room the other night and like it was full and fucking they were trying to pull it up on the TV there. <laughs> Dude, I came in so hot. I was like, yo, if you play this, like I'm fucking going on. I just started attacking everybody. Like, Yo, it. bro, you I see, it's funny. It, it, it somehow came up the other day too. We were at Caroline's and we were like, do you think it's still up? We should watch it right now. Dude, it, you it know was, what's funny? It was is, well made. It, it was, it, okay, it was, well, wait, I actually made a documentary about myself. I was like, you know, it's my first time ever making anything. But Bad like, movies are also well made. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's true. But here's the thing. I did that, like, when I was two <laughs> years in. So that's wild, the model of doing comedy now. Yeah, it is. That's it. Like, I didn't yeah. know it, but that's, well, I was ahead of my time. He's, <laughs> so that's one way He's like, I was a genius, bro. Yeah. Like, I was Woody was, Allen. Like, I had the Kanye documentary but before were Kanye. You, were you proud of it? Or, or you just didn't want him to, to, like, troll you or some shit or what? Dude, when that, when that thing came out, it was, like, actually really nuts. Because I remember, like, I was, I'd never released something. So I was just very nervous yeah, to release course. it. And I started emailing it to people like hey i'm dropping this like i'd love for you to take a look at it whatever and uh i was like talking to tim dylan at the time and like the day it came out or i emailed lewis and lewis was like come on rap we can talk about it on rap right tim dylan calls me the next day he goes buddy <laughs> you gotta take this down <laughs> he goes you might not survive this <laughs> like, there's certain things people do it's too early in comedy and you know you're gonna walk into rap it's gonna be a fucking ambush yeah. <laughs> he's like you just take it down and what I'm a, like what a smart guy I'm mm-hmm. like 20 years old I'm like freaking wow. the fuck out I don't yeah. know what's going on yeah. like so I call Lewis I'm like hey man I'm like <laughs> when I come into rap like is, you this mean? A, is this an ambush he's like look I'm gonna make fun of you man but just like <laughs> just roll with it and it'll be fun and that's it and I was like, all right, and that was it. Dude, that's not, was I working on rap that on nah, that 
episode. Yeah, this you weren't. That this was like so it was 2017 yeah, or something yeah, like early, that. Yeah. Can I tell you something though? We don't do st- we don't do any of the stuff that you put out. It's not for stand up comedians. No, yeah. It's no, for it's people not. who know nothing about yeah, comedy. Okay, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. It's a good point though. No, no, no. Point, I hate that shit, bro. Like it's like that's why I hate. I, I try so hard not to call anyone a hack. Right? As long as you ain't stealing, or as long as you ain't um. Hacking it up. <laughs> Damn, it's so hard. To but the content hacks. you're putting out as a comic is not for the comics. It's, not for, it's the for, comics. for people. No, but, but what I want to know. And, and most people were impressed. But what I want to know were is. comics. But what I want to know is, is like, I feel like, Lev, in the last year and a half, you've really come into like an own self-realization. You've gotten very funny on stage. I like you going to say fat. <laughs> <laughs> you got very fat. Dude, you got very fat, hold very, hold fat, hold very funny. Uh, yeah. um, oh, no, you got very fat, which has made you very funny. And But no, seriously, if That's you go back now. And, and right before you press upload, yeah. you say something to your past self right now. Would you say anything? What would you say? Uh, actually, I would have the oh, one thing I would have told myself is make one of these every year. Like actually stick to it. Because ah. a, as much shit as I got for it and like even like, you know, I would go to fucking comedy hangs and parties and you can kind of tell like, oh, I'm being made fun of. Jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and uh, even like from big comics, I could tell they're By like, the way, the that's fuck a good thing. Jealousy. Does this kid think he is? <laughs> and every comic that I was coming up with, like in the open mic scene, that were like, this is fucking ta-, like, like really trying to dog me for it. Like, they're not in comedy anymore. That's like, yeah. Go. Three of them yeah. are still in comedy. Let's but go. Look at fucking losers. Here's the crazy thing. Say your name. Like, that, <laughs> that dumb video got me my management. And my management got me passed at a good club. And, you know, my management, that getting past that good club got me good enough to get agents. And like, Dude, don't yeah. listen to these fucking <laughs> lunatic, delusional ass dickhead comics, yeah. bro. It's and a, try it's to make important. fun of you for expressing yourself. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you, you off. Know, no. <laughs> I would like to see, like, I, I, honestly, I'm not sure. I never shit on that doc. And I never will because I thought it was. Because I never I watched it, was, it. No, uh, I watched it. I had I, you blocked off rip. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually liked left from the beginning, bro. Even though oh, everyone was like, that's I, I really did. Everybody was like, "Don't like this kid." Nah, Lev, Big, <laughs> Lev Big dulled me when he was skinny. I didn't like him then. Yo, did I? The, the, I don't, uh, there was just one time I, I remember seeing. Why? Him. Oh, we had like a weird energy where, like, for sure, we just didn't know each but other. But that's everybody like. with Dylan. That's everyone with me, starts yeah. off with a weird energy. And also, I am me. joking. It was more like exactly like you kind of like do a lot of cr- crossing, but never yeah. actually hanging but out. It didn't start like that with me and Dylan though, because when I when I met Dylan, he was bad, dude. So we, <laughs> we started off very very leveled. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's because Dylan walked up to you humble, like, "Can you show me how to wear?" A <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which which bring me around New York? I, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> If, you, if we get on the train, you like, DC used to like get on the train. With I left me to one go black home. friend in Florida. Can you be my black friend in New York? <laughs> I need to yeah. go past Forty Seventh Street today. Would you mind walking? It was, it was really scary. It was really scary. <laughs> no, but I, I P, well, you're another guy. But here's the thing: if you're a young guy, people in comedy will hate you. Yeah, automatically. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, that, yeah. I, I, and I think we, uh, yeah, we're. Really, I think we are very similar in that fact of like it's just gonna happen. Oh, well, and I if mean, you're confident and yeah. then you, you see it, dude, yes. If you, you, that's you, why people hate you though. It's because you show confidence. It's probably absolutely. The same thing. I don't that's, feel like that many motherfuckers hate me, and I feel. Oh nah, people God. think you're an asshole, bro. They don't. They can't really hate you because they're like, maybe he'll punch me in the face. But people are like, he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what's crazy about comedy is like, if you are young and confident, mm-hmm. immediately all the older people hate the fuck oh, out of you. Yeah, be, but it, like, young and confident are the two most important things I, you yeah. can be <laughs> to agree. start comedy because like you're so, not funny so yet, but you yeah. have to be like. Believe like yeah, I can do this I can, shit. I'm actually good enough to and keep doing it. But everyone yeah. was younger at the time, and it was just like when I was at the when I was passing the comic strip, older guys in there would freeze me out a little bit. Mm. Like, oh, this guy is probably just here because they'll he freeze sees market, yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? Like they'll do shit like that. But DC, like, they'll freeze you out until they see that you on something. Yeah, they'll but, freeze you out until like they can get something from you. It, it is, and it went, By the way, that's what I expect. Oh shit, my ear ringing. That's an army fucking. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, he's, he's, oh, he's having PTSD oh, right now. Sure. <laughs> we have to cut the show. We'll be right back. Quick, play love for twenty. It'll bring him back. It's the only way. Maturing can candidate. Cut, wait, right now, can you just zoom in on Kevin's face and make it oh, black shit, and white? Bad, what the fuck is happening right now, oh, bro? I I always think Kevin's normal, and I'm like, he's gonna tweak one day. Yeah, he's gonna kill us all. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he's a super soldier. You he's a sleeper. Super, yeah. He's a super soldier. Jesus. Sleeper. Yo, we are at war, <laughs> boy. I come to the sleeper soldier ceremony. They just you know, you know, you know, special. Stop, bro. Uh, we, call, we talk. We call about. We call it the peanut butter shop. What you is heard, that? I don't know. What yeah. the fuck is that? Peanut butter shot. Nobody, nobody knows. <laughs> like, really? You haven't heard of it? You look like you got 70 of them. Nobody, nobody knows. Peanut butter. No, what, what the fuck is that? Peanut butter shot is some shit they give you in the army. I'm pretty in sure. Your ass, it oh, yes, like, it get, they I put it in it. your butt. I knew it. That's why Not in your butt, butt, but they put it in your butt cheek. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why I, when I was in the army, I only got sick once in three years. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was AIDS, but it, it was AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Bro. He just waits for your reaction. Yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, my ears right. ring weirdly every three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, at least I never get no, I never had the sniffles. That was the worst one I've had so far. That was really piercing. I couldn't even. I was getting my eyes. Bro, again. what do they actually do to you huh? guys, bro? Turn your headphones down, maybe. <laughs> wow. It was the headphones. You guys ever seen time. John 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 Monomic? Probably not, yeah. right? It's a it's a Keanu Reeves movie. It, it was like I'm the sure Matrix you pronounced that word. Uh, uh, no, it was it was John Monomic. That, that's the name of the movie, okay. Johnny Monomic. I don't know, but he has a chip in his head and whatever. He's trying to get this shit out. It's literally like if you saw the movie, you'd be like, "Oh, this is why he did Matrix in 1999." But it's it's just it reminded me of your ear ringing thing because something like that kind of happens to them. So it just makes me wonder sometimes what actually happens in the military because you never talk about it, bro. You don't talk about it on stage. If I ask you about it, you scratch the surface and then you're just like, "Because I, I was in a uh, every army person does that. Yeah. A lot of but most that have been to war, he yeah, has it's though. So scary. I'm to, I didn't go to war though. That's, so that's I, why that's I don't want to talk saying. about it because uh, I didn't really do much. So it was just mundane day to day tasks, kind of you kind of. No, we were trained because I was in the infantry, but yeah. I was in this unit that we just didn't deploy. Yeah. I don't know because we I think we they deployed once in twenty years. Yeah, if we deploy, that means the world's in trouble. Real trouble, like oh, they, Ukraine. Yeah, Kev's phone's yeah. ringing currently. We need you. Nah, bro, I'm not going to Ukraine. They got, they got of that. Not, bro. They got, <laughs> they got, that. They got that. But I do want to know, Lev, where do you, where, do, how recent and when do you think the change was was, was between people? You said obviously the pandemic took a lot of people out of comedy, but I mean yeah. like yeah. your like the people you looked up to, the Tim Dillons, the Lewis. When did it like become like you're in the green room and you're like, oh, I'm a part of this green room. It's no longer like I'm a foreigner here or outsider here. You know, I don't think there's like a day. Like, it's not like a, there's not going to be just a day where everybody's like, yo, you're the man. Like, I think unless you get like a huge thing, mm-hmm. yeah, but like, even if you do that, like people are going to congratulate you, but they're going to be like, they're still going to be jealous of like yeah. whatever the fuck you're doing. But I think it's just a really slowly and slowly you try to win people's respect. And there's, I mean, like, look, I'm, there's still guys where I'm like, I like that guy a lot. Like, I really want mm-hmm. him to see my set and be like, I think this is funny. Like, mm-hmm. you still care about yeah. that shit on a peer mm-hmm. level. Like, you want the people course, you look up to yeah, to do yeah. it, but... You know, like, the weird thing is, is the higher, like, the better comedians you're around, the cooler they are to you. Yeah. So, like, when I first started, like, working the stand, for example, like, like right away, like, Dan Soder was just, like, so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, those guys, like, Bonnie McFarlane. That guy, that guy has more talent on his goddamn pinky than most comedians out there. Dan's right? incredible. Dan's dude. so nice. Uh, he did a Big J's Dirty show on Monday yeah. at the Cellar. And uh, you've, have you ever seen his set? Uh, he does a uh, White Chappelle. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. it's just the funniest thing. But he'll, quoted it. he'll never, but he'll never put it out as a clip. He'll never release it. Right. And he's doing the sell, and I was like, "You need White Chappelle tonight, please." And I'm like dying to That's see it. So and he, funny. And he just goes, "Ah, I, think I can do it." Yeah. And he just, but he just does it. And I'm seeing the back, and I'm like, everyone's obviously dying. I'm just like, oh. it's like that's how good comedy can be sometimes. Where you're like. Please you just do that one joke that just kills the room every yeah, time? I've, I've told people, I go, Dan does this thing. It's the best thing I, in the world. It's so funny. But, like, mm-hmm. those guys, like, at that level, like, they're all way fucking cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, the people a, oh, in ahead, between bro. that level of, like, open mic and almost that next level. Or at, of, at your level, like, yeah. you know, like, for example, Dickheads. I remember times, like, I would do, like, a set at Caroline's. And, like, everybody in the lineup would be, like, people who are a little bit ahead of me. Mm-hmm. Like, they had Comedy Central sets and this and that, mm-hmm. right? And they would go up and do okay with their fucking shit about toasters, whatever, Comedy Central books. And then fucking, I would go up and like actually rip. Like I'd have a yeah. fucking hot set that yeah. night. When you come off, those people aren't walking up to you like, dude, they just walk up, they go, good set. Yeah. They, they give you the slightest oh, yeah, because yeah, they're yeah, in, yeah. they look at you as direct. Competition, is it, yes. is, let me ask you a question. Is it weird? Because I like giving props when props is due. Like, yo, that's me too. Fire, I right? love it, dude. I, I, yeah. I, I, so, like, that, is that weird, weird to do? Is that, is that no, something no, no, we no, should do? A, I, saw, like, I, I do it to, like, um, I, who did I do it recently? Uh, Sagalo and, like, Finance. That, like, two people, I saw them do a scent. I was like, by the way, like, that was just murderous. Oh, yeah. Karen Fian also. She did uh, the same thing, The Seller. Bro. Watching comedy sometimes as like a student is so fun. As I watch Canfi and Go by the Cellar, she she's so good at bringing the audience to her. She yeah. doesn't ever go th- like play to them or like make a big like you know like a uh, like you know like kind of song and dance for them. She goes up there, tells her jokes, and oh, you just watch an audience get on her side. It's to, insane. To something left said, like uh, I, I do a lot of cold calling for my day job. I'm in sales. And the hardest people to speak to are the nobodies, mm, like mm. the gatekeepers. That's what we call them in, yeah. in sales as well. It's people. Sense. And when I speak to a CEO, is that I, 
you got five minutes, bro, because I'm a busy guy, but I'll give you five minutes. If I get if I get a cell phone of a CEO or a guy who owns the business or multiple businesses, they're always the nicest people I can speak to. It taught me a lot about this shit, They respect bro. the fact that you're trying to do business, too, yeah, as it, well. Yeah. yeah, and also, you just got to sound like you know what the fuck you're talking yeah. about. So but also, course. when you're confident in your place, uh-huh. you want to see who's coming up next. Yeah. Right. It's exciting. Right, right. Like, it is. It's a, I, I feel like a lot of comics don't feel like that. Like, some do. Like, I it, like, when I'm around certain people, the further, it, the, the people I know that I can touch get further in my head. I'm just like, well, there's possibilities to this. Yeah, it but that's what. Uh, but but let's say that it's like it's when you're confident in your place. It, it's understanding that it's not competition if I'm not insecure about my own abilities. So like, that's like an interesting fact of like, you mentioned Dan Soder. It's funny, it's opposite end of the table. Like I get to hang around like Big J. I'm yeah. so lucky. To, like take out the comedic factor, take out like the uh, the opportunities. I love just seeing how Big J treats. The, the wait staff, the comedians around him, right, the people right. around mm-hmm. him, the fans. Yeah. But that's the biggest thing I learned from Big J if you want, really want to get into it. It's like how to treat the fans, how to treat someone who comes up to you and goes, hey, man, I really loved like, your set, really like what you do. Sitting down at like the stand or something and doing a show and uh, going on the road and ordering food for the wait staff and be like, guys, have some pizza. Yeah. Like, Yo, you those know, things You change. know what I have a big problem doing is like reintroducing myself. Like let's say I hung, yeah, let's say yeah, after yeah. this uh-huh, I see you at the stand. Like yeah. we were at the green room a, a couple weeks ago. We was watching the fights together on your phone, and then we went out drinking. Okay. Right now this is what this is what uh, this is for Adesanya. Okay. Right now we were all hammered. Right, but this is the first time I actually hung out at the Stan's green room, and I felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> right, you were actually nice to me. You were like, "Yo, let's watch the fights." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You no, were sitting fine. next to me. We had, we had the phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but now. Like if I saw you after that, I would I couldn't go up to you say what's up, bro. I would have been, and now based off this reaction, I know I was I was right not to do it, <laughs> right? Like I'd be right not to go up to someone. It's and say, not that hey, it's right or wrong, but that's just your it's social it's anxiety, so, it's, yeah. social yeah. awareness. It's like I was about to say that, that that's less comedy, more just like human to human interactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even today, like there's someone that we. Give each other like movie recommendations, like yo, yeah. watch this on HBO. We do that back and forth, and then they hit me up today, like yo, I have a premiere question. I'm just having a, a trouble editing this. Can you? We went back and forth, and you can even tell at the end it was like, hey, do you want to come to the podcast? Oh yeah, absolutely. And there's still that moment of like, all right, man, yo, I appreciate you. Da, da, da. Yeah. It's like everyone's doing that song and dance of like, are you, you know, you know, I actually appreciate Everyone you. I, I actually thing. do fuck with Everyone's you. It's, it's not fake. Brained people too is like we're very fucking like people think I think without knowing me that I'm like a very overconfident dickhead, but like. I'm if I'm not talking to you, it's mm-hmm. usually because I'm like I don't I don't know I don't want to fucking embarrass myself or like come off yeah. like a dick to you. You didn't like, go to Skankfest uh, Houston, right? No, no. See, so that was like my first uh, Skankfest, yeah. and it's so funny. It, even recently, I did a like, broad topic, and you can even see on my story if you want to pull it up, Natalie. Like the comments of people being like, you know, I don't think I've ever heard Dylan in long form. Yeah, and it's he's not the dickhead that he's always perceived as like, consistently. And I get it, like I can be a dick. I, Everyone like that's fun, but like at the same time, it's fun meeting people. And when you're, do you feel like when you're in person with people, they're like, "Oh, Lev's fun." Like you yes, are fun, yeah. Lev. Lev, I genuinely have fun when we're drinking. And I don't know if I can say it on camera, going to the strip club. Oh yeah, uh, you got a girl? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. They're at the strip club. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we bring our ladies, dude. Yeah. That's dude. <laughs> When I'm at when I'm at the stand, it's like me, you, Ryan Long, Danny Polishek, we're all sitting there with our girlfriends. I'm like, dude, let's just go to the strip club. Like, why are we not drinking at the yeah, strip club? Yeah. And like, it's fun. Uh, I've never been to a strip club I liked. Really? Dude, never. Uh-huh. I went to only only, but well, no, that's not true. Nice I went snap. to one in Yonkers and it was hilarious because the all, the the <laughs> best one fun. there was the white girl. What? She was nice with it, bro. What? She was performing. Actually, she was performing for the Speaking ages. Of strip club. Yeah. You don't get dances, do you? I'm not a big dance guy. I realized Wait, what it what is the other night. Can we talk whoa, about this? Whoa, because whoa, we're whoa. the complete opposite of the strip club. I realized what it is. is uh, if I'm at a, like, I, I love strip clubs. They're a great <laughs> fucking time. But I realized if I start talking to the girl and I respect her, <laughs> like if we start forming a conversation, I'm like, oh, I, she's not that retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then when yeah, she's yeah. dancing on me, it just feels wrong. <laughs> you, feel, oh. you feel like you're... I can't buy into the That thing. wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, makes it feel right. Now, if she, if I haven't spoken to her illusion. 
and she just comes over first offering sex, or she's Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then just dance. Part then, of that CCP. So you need them to just be straight up slut, like just play the role fully. Because if you <laughs> yes. start to see humanity, you, you check out. That's You're like, I can't. If I start to see yeah. them as a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nope. just. I, like, I'm, it's not I'm funny I don't want to waste any. Do- you like to throw your dollars while they dance. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, like, I went to the strip club with man. Derek and Dave Temple, and Derek Gaines is the probably the worst and the best person to go to the strip club with because he just like wants to throw dollars, doesn't get dances, just like yeah. you guys will have fun, and he just goes, "You shake that ass, girl. Put that ass, put, put that ass <laughs> in my face. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. I know, just the entire time. He just like, turns into the he, Fresh Prince. He's li- the entire he just time. So you're saying, oh. when you're like, Sitting next to the dude having way too much fun at the strip club is even more awkward. Like, everyone's walking by being like, oh, this guy's having a grand old time. He's wooing and wee. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go sit in the corner be a weirdo and get dances. Like never had strippers before, though, too. <laughs> like, you're too excited about the shit. I will say, though, that time we went to the strip club in, uh, in uh, Texas... Some dude walked by next to us and just handed us money. Yeah, and that's great. That's nice. Has that ever really happened nice. to you? No, no. No. Dude, you know, just, he just like, do you want to change money well, he, out? The guy knew you had a hot mom. He was trying to find <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to a strip club uh, in like Tijuana or something. Oh, they dude, suck. You want to go to where what? sex traffic suck. you're talking about? No, no, no. What's the no, worst not, strip club you've ever been to? It might have been one in Mexico. But I have a, uh, I'm from North Carolina. And in the small town where we grew up, there's a strip club that we go to on Thanksgiving night. <laughs> As a tradition, hey, how That's long you in the family? Ever, how long no. you been going to strip clubs? <laughs> uh, I, I don't I, look. I, I'm not like a big strip club dude. I guess I go Sounds more like than you, the average yeah. person. You sound like, like two chains right now, bro. Like, <laughs> it's like if, if it's two a.m. and I'm at a bar, like I'm I'm up all night. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, let's fucking go look at tits while we have beer. Like who cares? But don't they like, close at like three? Four. Depends what strip club you go to. All right, all right, all right. So, so the one much, in so the one in North Carolina. Yeah, so dude, I love it. So Thanksgiving, you, <laughs> it's just so funny because there's nobody there, and like you can tell every girl on stage like just tucked her daughter in, like oh. she's dancing with like the itis, you know what I mean? Like yeah. <laughs> it's just hilarious. So itis. that's so, so funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like so you see like turkey up. moving around and shit. And just like oh shit, bro. I'm done. Oh, I just love the world of it. That I made me want to go to a strip club on Thanksgiving. I've never in been North, to a in the you South. See, like little bird like marks from like earlier when she was making oh food, and yeah, like, she's like fucked up a little bit. Strip clubs out here aren't as lit though. Where he's from, and and the South and other places, I feel like New York strip clubs are okay. From what I from what I've experienced, it's a, it's a different breed. Yeah. It's a different breed. It's a different, but there's, there's a strip club culture down south. There's more of a culture of it. Whereas here, it's like well, you heard he goes there with his to... family, bro. This yeah, is yeah, crazy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah boost the the seat for my friend. Does your girl, <laughs> does your girl hate the strip club when she goes with you? She doesn't. She, tolerate love she looks like it. she tolerates it. Yeah, she doesn't love it. But I realized. I think if she if it's just the two of us, she enjoys it a lot more. She hates when everyone is there. I think because she wants to like sit on my lap and do like that whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, so she so. can't be herself. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what it is. You know, women just kind of stink in general. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like you know. They actually tend to get jealous of strippers, from what I've seen or heard. Well, like, I had a buddy. I'm not gonna say his name. I had a buddy. His girl brought him to a strip club on his birthday. Uh-huh. Pay for a lap, buddy. Dance. I'm right here. Oh, I want to do and that. it wasn't you, <laughs> but uh, and. And she got drunk and just started like throwing things at him and the stripper, Ooh. accusing him of cheating. And like, but that's was, stripper behavior. <laughs> yeah. That's from his girl. To, to, get to start throwing shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. guy was like, man, man yeah, yeah. They, they bring it to the bathroom. I'm not a stripper. <laughs> like, man, get on stage. Yeah. Relax. She, so, so she set it up, but she, she couldn't take the visual. She couldn't take she the visual. Yeah. Yeah. And so she attacked him in the club. She attacked him in the club. The guy kicked out and they, now they're married. <laughs> Latin? Nah, uh, no. she nah. That's a Spanish couple, I, bro. She's a uh, Kiwi. She's a Kiwi. The fuck, Kiwi. Rules. Hawaii. She's like where where for is that her stripper name? <laughs> <laughs> Coming to the stage, it's Kiwi. Kiwi. <laughs> uh, she's from uh, she that doesn't place. shave. She's from that place, Adesanya. Kiwi is uh, Adesanya's New Zealand. New Ze- Kiwi is New Zealand. <laughs> that place yeah, Adesanya's yeah. from. Dude, I have a friend who lives in New Zealand. He's like a he's a comic there, and he told me he's like you know we actually have more sheep than people. I believe that. Yeah. And I asked him, I go, how much would it cost to get you to fuck a sheep? <laughs> and right away he goes, oh, I'd never do that, man. They have the disgusting assholes. <laughs> and I was like, why would you go straight to the asshole <laughs> instead of pu- fucking that pussy. perfectly yeah, good yeah. sheep pussy? Yeah. <laughs> like, why do you immediately go can asshole? You pull up Man's sh- a degenerate, can you pull, up, <laughs> pull up sheep pussy real Yo, quick? Because that like shit looks exactly like gross. a vagina. You asked the question, sheep pussy's he was already you- past you. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny is I usually like a girl who's clean shaven, but sheep pussy is probably the only pussy that's good with a little cushion. 
It's like, they're, they're, it's of, like, co- it's like, like, co- like, co- there's a little wool feel around, yeah. the, around the legs. You <laughs> no, stay warm at night, just yeah. in the fields fucking. The sheep is the best <laughs> cuddle. The best post sex cuddle. <laughs> 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 the best post sex cuddles of Yo, sheep. Yo, I see that you got a motherfucking black eye on you, and I can't stop staring. Black eye? You got a black, a black eye. Really? Yeah, right. Oh, now. wow. You yeah. have black eyes on your podcast? How dare you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we did it that one time during the live. <laughs> um, I did jujitsu yesterday. That might be Ooh, it. You know, do I funny. actually have a black eye? I, was, uh, I, think... I didn't look like it. just like a, a little bruise under your eye. It doesn't look like a black eye. Where? Is it right your there, left buddy. eye you're talking about? Right there. Oh, right there. Oh. I don't even see it. I, I see it. Like, I just thought he was clear tired. right there. Kevin, do jujitsu. You're gonna have one tomorrow. Stripper clocked me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, uh, I was gonna message, I was gonna DM you this, and then I realized you're coming on the podcast. I want to know something. Uh, what's the rematch with Lewis looking like? Dude, I'm not gonna fight Lewis. No, <laughs> what do you? Okay, skank fest. Yeah, dude, I, as soon as I posted a photo of a jujitsu gi, people were like, "All right, dude, eight months. Yeah, we got eight <laughs> months. See, you you get your revenge on Lewis." And I'm like, "Life, life." You have to. I'm not, dude. I'm Lev, not in this you game to fight. You can't go zero and one. It's not publicly. You, you're sparring. Oh, First of all, You've spar. Never... You don't count spars. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Wait, wait, wait. He's not zero one in a spar. He, no, he now knows that he's 0-1, he he's trying to make everybody 0-1. Yeah. <laughs> you got in that fight one time with Shakur. Hey, you 0-1. You 0-1. Live, live. Your beat-up might be a little worse than mine. You had a whole podcast before going, ah, yeah, what do you mean? You had a whole easy. year before going, I'm going to beat this to fucking do it. against Harrington. Gopher. <laughs> Yours is way worse. You can't get booked at Brooklyn Comedy Club anymore. <laughs> at least he gives That's me a spot once a month. <laughs> not the reason. Um, actually, I have a spot there once a week. Um, <laughs> yeah, Harrington forgets about the boy here. No. You're not, wait, we hit him up right now. Spar rematch Lewis. I'm not, dude, I have I don't I don't need to spar Lewis. It's like I'm trying to shoot a special. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm trying to get out of shit like that and get into You're in the shooting. process of trying to shoot a special. What's, what's that? You're in the process of trying yeah. To shoot I'm, a trying special. To, I'm trying to get Start it. Start doing comedy. What do you want? want to do you know where you want to record it? I don't know yet. I uh, right now I'm trying to get the material. Like really, you know, I just started writing for the whole. You just started writing the whole do 15, hour. Fifteen, twenty, thirty, or like I don't know. I think I think I'll probably do just full length sets and just see like okay, how much of this do I want to put out? Yeah, you should we'll drop see. them in segments of like ten or something. I think. How, how I think much you do you think you have? Both. If I had twelve, yeah. Well, I mean, like the longest sets I've done are like fifty five, and that's like if I'm talking to the crowd a little mm-hmm. bit. But yeah. I don't know. I've been writing a lot lately. I actually have my show tonight, which is like I usually do like thirty up front and just okay. see like nice. what's new that's cooking. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I like I feel like I can be on stage pretty easily for an hour. But what, do you know where where you where's your like the thoughts of where you would want to record it? Uh, well, I think for my first one, we'll probably do the Beacon. Nice. You know, we'll get like fifteen people in there and just like, <laughs> just rock out. Yo, you're somebody to beat the right now. No, and no, and we'll, find, find, we'll get like some cool club yeah. or something. I, I really like small, like dark, intimate, intimate rooms. Yeah, yeah I, Damn, I, I you really should come do it. my show then, bro. If you got time. Yeah, where's so do you go past one eightieth? <laughs> no, I mean, he's on East Harlem right now, so yeah, like Canada in these times. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's a tight space, bro. It, it could fit at most, bro, twenty five people. I love shit like um, that. Yeah, it's yeah. like real intimate too. Yeah, yeah record your special day. <laughs> yeah, just shoot. I'll just shoot it next bro. week. The owner, would, <laughs> and the owner would love it. <laughs> yeah. But fighting Lewis, you're gonna do it, right? I'm not gonna fight Lewis. I'm I'm sure at some point I'll like spar him or no, you should grapple spar him again. Him again. Absolutely, or something. But like, it's not that. It's just like. Uh, yeah, I think it. I think the fighting thing is like kind of. I think it's a fun thing to do at Skankfest and all this shit. Mm-hmm. But like. I don't know that that's like if everybody should become Brendan Shop. No, yeah, no, no, or no. Jake Paul or some shit. Also, I, I, I like the way Barstool does it. That rough and rowdy shit. What, Have you get, seen that? Yeah, get yeah, people yeah. with like, less brain cells to just fight. Like, what do you think? You're smarter than them. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, 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 hey! You think you're smarter? <laughs> there's than a, there's a dude on. Who the like, fuck are you? What are their names like? MJ Le Pepe or something? It's like, I don't, dude, there's a lot of weirdos on there. What are you talking about? Motherfucker, really want to shit on MJ Le Pepe, bro. Three year champion. (laughs) I'll go out on a limb and say he's smarter than Rough and and Rowdy, guys. Say again? I'll say he's smarter than Rowdy. What are you talking about? Smarter than a Rough and Rowdy guy? Yes. I don't think so, bro. I'm smarter than Harrington, yes. Maybe not like the family feud. This is your next challenge. You versus Harrington and a spelling bee. (laughs) (laughs) I'd actually lose. He'll lose. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Yo, this is everybody dope. with a hot mom is always dyslexic. <laughs> That's what it is. Those titties cross you up. <laughs> Those titties cross you up. It's so stupid. Man, I'm so lucky I didn't grow up with a hot mom, bro. 
I hated she you at all. No, my she mom abandoned also, me, bro. My, also, my mom yeah, would but, show up if I like forgot something at home, and I'd be like, "Oh, I know she's gonna come into class." My mom would like take all a your shower, friends, get you, ready, pick an outfit, yeah. put on boots, and like that's crazy. My, my, like, you know you, you, you could <laughs> smell <laughs> my mom's perfume before she opened the door, Damn, and you're just like, "Oh, just like, so your friend Cody you can bring a boner." Yeah, like, like my mom was just making seven year old boners happen. Cody, he was only hanging out with like Daquans, bro. Like he wasn't hanging out with a few Daquans. Malls, but he had a friend yeah. named Cody. I had a white friend named Cody. Tyrone Daquan and, and Tyrone. Jerome were all like, Yo, your mom's, I'm gonna smash that later, bro. Let me come you, over. Where's your, where are you from and do you have South a dad? Boca. <laughs> Boca, and I do have a yeah, dad, Boca's, but they got, yeah. I, they got divorced when I was young. I that, see, that's what it is. Divorced mom wants sexual attention from For sure. a little bit, anyone, right? And but wow, also, this is the funniest part is I was the ultimate cock block. What? From my, your friends? No. To your mom? <laughs> That is, no. that is the ultimate. If you're not grabbing cocks, no. you can't call yourself the ultimate <laughs> cock block. Like just before it's going yeah. in. <laughs> no. No. How are you an ultimate cock block? I've never yeah, heard of you. What'd you do? You? What'd you do? Uh, suck it before. My, my, <laughs> I finished the job. <laughs> uh, no, I, my my mom was always my mom was like one of those like nice like single moms that was like, if my son doesn't like you, I can't be with you. My son's my first. Oh, my, my son's I see what my you're You would take the piss. With yeah, me. So <laughs> like, dude, your mom was just using a tactic of let yeah. motherfuckers know she has a son. Yeah, like she's trying to get that disclaimer out the way. No, yeah, but like, but does she have a date? Someone while you were a kid, yeah, like but like very always so short, like it was like always like very like they would come over. So basically, your mom got dick and it was like you used you to sabotage. Yo, no, she no, used no, to no. sabotage yeah, the yeah, relationship. Yeah. Like, I had like three like couple month relationships. Yeah, like, couple month relationships. Sure. Okay, your mom doesn't know how to keep a man. Yo, listen, we're not gonna disparage mom and neck you. like no, that. No, my mom's like that too. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. can't keep a dude. She, she can't even get me to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm at her club every night. <laughs> uh, now she's divorced, but my my parents are the opposite. They're Russian, so they're like oh, shit. they're invading Ukraine right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're they're, Belarus. they're busy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they're my dude. My, I had one of those households where it's like you did not want to invite friends over because yeah. like. Either you're free, you'd be upstairs like playing with wrestling toys, and your parents are downstairs yelling. Yes, yeah, like just it, and they just yeah. were. Fucking, are they immigrant Russians or are they yeah, like? Yeah. Oh. So Everybody things were thrown. Family. So you're the first generation. Yeah, I'm first gen. My brother was born there too, and uh, dude, it's just, it, you know, I just one thing as a parent, I can't wait to like not have that house. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I want other people to want to come over and have a oh, good vibe. I got what you're that are the strife and it's just a cantankerous household yeah. and shit. Like, that's how no, and you feel embarrassed for having friends over and shit. Yo, my mom didn't want gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. At least you, you, did your mom, did, I mean, did your friend, were there your friends allowed to come over? They were allowed, but like, you, you didn't, didn't want, want them that, to. Though. It was, yeah. It, it, it wasn't that it was like so bad, it was just like not. It's not like, hey, welcome. welcome. Yeah. Like, I'd go to my white friend's house and they'd be like, it's all chill. Tits are you in the fridge. All chill. Yeah. Your white friend's mom smokes. You're just like, what's going on here? My if, mom's like, if anyone only, could come over, just make them Christian. You know, if only while they're ben here. Ohana knew that we were friends with him just for his snacks, I swear he'd be sad to this day. Yeah. We had a friend and we just knew we we're like, we're going to cross by this neighborhood, go get some snacks. He has a nice mom. I was that friend. Oh, you were the snacks friend? I was friend? the snacks friend. Yeah. Natalie, you do look at the snacks and friend. And then you always had a friend whose mom's ass you always wanted to look at. And you just like, I guys, leave my mom alone. Fat ass. I was not your mom necessarily, but you know. I will, like, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, like, when I was younger, we grew up with, I don't know, like it was money. No, no, it was just weird because it was like my money, parents were split respect. up, but my <laughs> my parents were split up, but they were like getting divorced for eight years. Oh yeah, so it was like they were right, never yeah. officially split. It was always like my like dad's on here, but they're just mm-hmm. always fighting. But it's always like yeah. my dad could just show up at any moment and be like, "What the fuck's going on?" And like they just get into a fight. So it's a it's like a drive by fighting. Did your dad have <laughs> money? My dad, yeah. My dad yeah. owns a company. So it's like, it was a weird thing of like. That's always long divorces. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew a girl, her, her dad invented the doggy daycare. Wow. What the fuck I, is that? So like the idea of the dog. doggy daycare that yeah. was like his no thing. Way. No. So, and I went over to Banger. She's got, she's on like a. You know, Paul F. Doggy? Yeah, dude. He's Polly uh, F. Doggy, owner of the Doggy Daycare. Dude, it was her apartment had a trampoline in it. It was like full skyline <laughs> oh, views of the entire city. It was High ass ceiling. Insane. Yeah. It was fucking dude, crazy. Well, now, but they were like, yeah, they've been getting divorced for 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> Does That's, she hate or love doggy stuff? She was into it. She yeah. was into it. <laughs> I do want, I do want, I do want, I'm moving off that. Uh, I do want an entire apartment where the whole floor is just trampolines now. 
you just walk in, you're just like, what? Why? Oh, like, it's just a lot of fun. It's like, we like to have fun here. Do you have a Do you have like a dream apartment? <laughs> um, not necessarily. I would love to have a place with like a little like a nice backyard that isn't like fucking sewer rats. Like I'd oh, yeah, love yeah. to have a place where you go out back. You're with your chick, you have a fucking coffee and a cigarette yeah. and just chill, like, there's grass around. You are Russian, A dude. dream apartment for me. Is Love's going to be in a tank though? top one day, just be like, I got my girl, I got my cigarettes, and we got rules. a drink. Got you still smoke Svetka. cigarettes? No, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you have that kind of a backyard, you got to smoke cigarettes, dude. <laughs> I got yelled at the That's other day American for smoking cigarettes. That's American food for the aesthetic. I got yelled at the other day for smoking cigarettes by my significant other. By your lady? Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought she would smoke cigarettes. Yeah, so honestly, she looks like she smokes yeah, cigarettes. Like she smokes cigarettes. You guys don't know, Corinne. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> no, she would hate no, that a lot. We're we'll judging no, by the cover. <laughs> no, she hates it. Dark shadow ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, she hated it. No, just yeah. Like, what she say? You know what though? She's she just like she, she just it, had an bro. attitude about it. I was like, all right, I'll put it out if we can't have a conversation oh, while this is lit. Oh, 100% your mom dad mom, on no, me. But no, Corinne, crazy. I'm trying to be like Jay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay does it. Cool He's like, like okay, first of all, unhook your wallet from your pants <laughs> and put that cigarette out. Okay? <laughs> and take all those, those gloves. gloves. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he gets up off his stool like, what do you mean, man? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so stupid. That's Should we so get into funny. topics or, or Uh, yo. It's into plugs, actually. Yeah, let's go to the plug music, baby. Get the fucking plug. <laughs> oh my god. She was actually really quick like with it this week. album right there. Yeah, right? This, this shit is Get the fucking fire. mic up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is Dope Dope and Dying, Sunday morning smoke show. My Cheers, name is Kevin Cheers. Sanchez. You can find me at It's Kevin Sanchez, ITS, Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Papa Sanchez on Twitter, and my other pod, The Mac Almanac with the great Josh Pallet, DC Williams. Oh, uh, I am <laughs> TC well, Williams Pop your Instagram at DC name. Does It. DC D U Z Z I T T. Every Friday, Sugar Hill Cafe, 145th and St. Nick. Underground Comedy Show, 7 30 p.m. on Fridays, guys. I'll see you there. Left Fred going to be there in two weeks doing a special. Hey. Yeah, Get your tickets now. Come through. Yes, sir. And they're going to be like $50. You can sell fully down tickets, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Come through, guys. Jill? Your intros are getting weak this week. I, last week you were—I was really happy with you. You had like a. Whole he's supposed to be doing a plug, like and he's blaming little, you for no, it. So I, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Dylan Nuggie's a D weight of comedy. Yeah. Dylan Nuggie, we got anything to plug? Oh, oh, thank, 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 you, thank you, God. thank you, Kevin Sanchez. Uh, guys, DC Comedy Loft, March 10th and 11th. Come to the DC Comedy Loft. Come see me open with Derek Gaines, Dave Temple. It's gonna be a fun show. Also, be if you're in, if you're in Colorado, I mean Colorado, uh, April 15th and the 16th, doing four shows then. So come on to those shows. Those are more of my outdates. I'm doing a bunch of things in New York. Go to my website, DylanComedy.com, to you and have a website, but we in it. So, guys, go see my dates. And Le- I had a great Lev Fur. Um, I run a monthly show at the stand called Lev Fur and Friends. Look out for that. And just oh, follow me on social media. That's it. Let's go. And keep supporting these guys. This Thank Dope Dope and Dying the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Please hit that bell. Subscribe, like, comment. Much love, y'all. Yo. Buy some merch. Buy some merch. Yo, the boy is back in the gym. Are you? I'm back How in you the feel, gym. Man? You feel good? I feel I feel swole for no you reason. Swole. The boys back on creatine. Oh really? Okay. Why don't you just take some TRT, bro? Fuck it. You don't. I don't. You don't I don't have that much money, bro. I can't just be on. <laughs> but you could buy testosterone TRT. from GNC. Or, or, and I don't. Take tr- it. I, honestly, I want to do some tests first. Just buy deer. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I would. Are I you would about to use... tell me to buy some deer test? No, no, no. It's, it's called deer antler spray. You just spray it on your tongue a couple of times, and you feel. Bro, let me tell you something. You right feel now. infuriated, but it's only because testosterone is increasing in your body. Bro, just work out. all I know is I went from like feeling like a hoss uh-huh. last year uh, oh, to like uh, a hoss. You never uh, heard of it? H A U S S? You guys never heard of it? A hoss? A ho- I guess that's a. I think you pronounced it wrong. Like a pig? Hoss? No, yeah. like, a, like you feel like a. First of all, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not pronouncing it wrong okay, at all. Okay, all right. All right what is be, it? What is just, it? You feel like that guy, hoss. bro. Okay. You feel like, a, like you could take on anything. All right. And then the other day, I just like. I felt soft, bro. I felt like anyone could just take me. 
Yeah. You know what like, I mean? like a man could just take your manhood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you I, felt. Don't, I don't know why you said I like felt that. rapeable. I yeah. felt rapeable. <laughs> That's a bad place to be in your life as a man, bro. Well, you feel rapeable. I've I never been walking around like, damn, I feel mad rapeable. <laughs> 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 Yo, that shit is that's a wild feeling, bro. No, I just feel like like somebody could stall on me. Yeah, of like, course. Like a homeless, like I was scared of this homeless guy. This homeless guy started. Uh, I don't even know if he was homeless. He was just crazy. I was on the you started raping me on <laughs> thirty four <laughs> on the Q train, bro, yeah. on the way to work. But no, this, home, this white show. dude, this homeless crazy dude, he's on the train, and uh, I'm at the back of the train, and he's like. He starts coughing, but like aggressively, and he didn't cover his mouth. And I'm sitting right there in front of him. I'm like, why is he doing that? And then he goes, pull, pull, pull. But like he's, fake spitting. He's part of Griselda. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and, uh, and honestly, I was like, do I got to fight this guy? Like, I don't have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have that in me is anymore. Is he doing it in your direction? He's doing it. And, then he's, like that, and yeah. then he's calling me a pussy. Yeah, they always yo, do that shit, start calling bro. me a pussy, bro. And I was like, yo, I think you right, bro. But you like, start, <laughs> start thinking you yo, a pussy. Yo, I'm pussy right now, bro. Bro. Because I had to walk, I had to walk past him. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, I get up. Mm -hmm. I had no choice. I had to walk past him. And then, thank God, he flinched. Yeah. yeah. And then I got gangster again. I was like, yeah, that's right, bitch. Pussy, like, bro. If you, if no, he you, was pussy though. No, but if the people that act like that out of their minds, if you kind of just buck up a little bit, they'll like, they'll keep cursing oh, no, you yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. He kept cursing start, me out too. Exactly, they'll start going in a different direction. And then, um, but I know what it's this like. This is how to soft I look. This is how soft I look. Tell me, I'm gonna tell you how soft I, I, I look. It's not gonna be soft in the mind, but go ahead. Pause. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. So this is how soft I look. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to sit down, but like I sat down like maybe ten feet away from. Him. Yeah. Because I was like, now nah, I kind of hope he busts a move. Like I, I, I know where I'm at now. And then I see some other dude. He's like put it on his gloves. Right? And then the homeless guy finally Big walks out. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? Could you see his fingertips? <laughs> no, nah, and then that homeless guy threw a cup at me and he blocked it like oh, that. What? That's an old reference none of y'all got from Legion of Skanks, Kurt Metzger versus uh, Louis J. Gomez. But anyway. <laughs> that was um, such a deep cut. And I do yeah, know the was, reference. It was just know that. oddly yeah, placed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, um,. <laughs> That's how you. That's how you. That's how you skip past the bomb. You just start. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, the dude goes. The dude goes. He put on these like you know those uh, when people do delivery service or bike service, yeah. and they have these gloves for the protection. They have these uh, like I don't even know what it's called, but it's like hard under the yeah, knuckles. Yeah, yeah. He goes, "Yo, bro, I had your back, son. Yo, nobody has your back in New York, bro. That's how soft I look. He felt like he needed yeah. to help me." Bro. But New York feels tweaky these days. I don't know, like the Lower East Side, bro. This shit has always been this scum was, bro, city. Have you ever got into a fight on the street? Really... Nah, I'm a big guy. People don't fuck you, with me that much. Yeah, you look tall. Where are you, like 6'3 or something? 6'2. Oh, but I, I have a friend that everywhere he goes... People fuck with him? People just Do I know him? Anywhere he goes. Nah, can, I, can I tell you how pussy... I I know when I, how I look pussy. One time when I lived in California, right? I worked in Pasadena. I would do like... This kind of job you're doing sales, but on the street in front of a store, or some oh, shit, no. pitching people, sponsor a kid, whatever, we're selling some bullshit equipment that I don't believe in, right? So, and we're just Whoa. there with iPads. Whoa, <laughs> you don't believe in it? <laughs> I'm just saying, this is controversial. <laughs> God, you're just going to attack AT&T like that. <laughs> 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 you know I'm saying, but it was, you it was actually, closer, so he just says, "It's like children's rights." I don't believe it. It was actually it. some <laughs> like LASIK surgery for children in like Africa with like cataracts. And, and you like, don't Indian believe in it? No, I do, but I really just wanted them to subscribe so I can make a commission. You know what yeah. I mean? But um, so this is how I know uh, right here. I got robbed by two lesbians. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Mexican, both of them had to be 110 pounds. Yeah. Or like they were trying to rob me. Me and my friend were there. There, we saw them come in or whatever. We just thought they were shopping. You know, you know, uh, maybe they're just looking around innocuously, whatever. They're just in the area perusing. Come back around. They're both standing there. They walk up. They're looking around. She wanted to pull a knife out. One of them snatch the iPad off and start just running. Right, and he starts chasing. I'm standing there looking at this lady that has a knife in her hand, thinking, "Can I?" <laughs> Should I hit this bitch? I'm still thinking that, even yeah. though she has a knife in her hand. And the most that I could do was just like full Nelson this bitch. Yeah. And then I look over, this dude tackles the fuck out of the other girl. Like, ah, her we're doing phone, this. He was over it because she actually got away with his phone. Her phone and everything slid out of her hand. Oh, right. Weird. Yeah. And then so I let her, I let him go. She turns around, does some shit, and then she like runs off. And I thought to myself, I was like, damn, I was like, yo, I really look 
that pussy that two of these girls who were for sure 110 pounds soaking wet with change in their pocket like, only yeah, yeah, yeah. were like, yo, we're going to go rob two of these motherfuckers, Wait, bro. she took it from you or She from took the it store? from him off the table. So it was oh, two okay. of them. One of them snatched it off the table, started running. The other one, I'm like running around like... Trying to like just grab her. Yeah, talk he, to the mic, bro. My bad. He chased her off because she was running off like to the side, so bro. And he just tackled the shit out of her. Yeah. You said what? Like what she was doing was when? Like she just like, yeah, but she just the mic. Yeah, I thought you want to you want to top your friend's rape story with an <laughs> iPad getting <laughs> taken from you. No, 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 you not an iPad. Butt fucked on the train, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like I, I lost company money. Yeah. He's no, getting... it wasn't even the company money. It was just that you would like someone. They would probably look at you and be like, nah, because like you're you're tall, you're big, dude. But they just looked at two dudes and was like, nah, we could rob these them with knives, Lef not eat guns, a, bro. Left could eat a two-inch like, stab a couple times before he dude, gets... Dude, I, I would <laughs> fuck two lesbians. That's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it was just a quick stiff arm, bro. I was like... But it makes you reflect on yourself. You're just like, wow, I got to look more intimidating. Well, it was, it was uh, shitty. Like, we were in Jamaica, and, like, Shannon jumped into, like, we were doing, like, like cliff diving into the water, and she, like, jumped in, and you just see her face go from, like, having fun to, like, help me. And then, like, goes underwater, and there was a moment where the whole Gas Digital crew is on this rock. Everyone that has ever, that works for Gas Digital is on this rock. Mm -hmm. And none of us jumped in. And there was a moment after, while the dude that finally jumped in that worked there, like, grabbed her, like, pulled her to safety, and I was like... <laughs> what pulled her under? Just... Her tits? She, I don't she know. She claims that it was her shoes were too heavy, but it's just that she can't swim. She's. I've heard her tell this story maybe six times. And why did say that I'm a hack for telling the story again on the podcast? No, 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 no. I just mean that like. Well, you're a hack for telling that story on the podcast. <laughs> she no, like, she was. You know, you know, like the swim shoes. They, like the like sometimes they'll give you for, like rocks and shit. It's like uh, the yeah. like those the, the, like fitted to your foot. Your, the you, web, no the one, web you're shoes. Not, you're not supposed to swim in those. You can't swim in those. Your feet. Mm. Like you can't for some reason, like it just doesn't make sense. I remember when I But that's not soft, bro. You know yeah. how hard it is to save someone in the water? Nah, yeah, bro. the reason that I like that chimed in there was because she's told the story so many times to be like, they don't care about me, but like why would we one, it looked like she was having Can fun. I be honest with you? And this is what I uh, this is <laughs> it's like a Travis Scott she, concert. Like, a, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can I be honest with you? This is this is why this is the real reason why I didn't jump in. I didn't want to jump in. And then try to save her. And then she kill you. And then there'll be that moment where I'm not doing that great. And everyone's just watching. It's like, all right, go save us, bro. I need help, too. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Saving a human. Like, that shit is hard, bro. Yeah, I just feel like, why would you not assume that the lifeguards would get to her first? That's That would be my perspective. I'm just saying, I'm just saying we all stayed for pretty long. Yeah. I love the idea of just Ralph staring at his employee drowning. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> weighing their salary in his head. Like... <laughs> <laughs> 73 grand I don't know I could probably replace her <laughs> do you well, feel like you that's do wild shit when you on vacations or you just no, hang out dude. I me, I, I actually went on a trip with my chick recently and that's when I learned I, oh, we vacation so you know one of my favorite <laughs> Instagram <laughs> posts which one Lev goes <laughs> if you don't know Lev he likes he likes strip clubs and gambling Lev is a uh, Russian full and through. He likes smoking, strip clubs, gambling, mm -hmm. and tank tops. Mm -hmm. I'm just making up the yeah. tank top one. I'm a degenerate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go for vacation with you and your chick? I went to Puerto Rico. So he did you? So he makes this pose going. I, uh, I went up. I'm, I'm up at the casino. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> how much were you up? You I was. Take? I was up like fifteen hundred. Oh, you tell bucks. the story. I like okay. So fir first night in the casino, I'm with my chick. We, we walk out. We're up like. A grand, mm -hmm. like I think. No, we we're fourteen hundred together, right? Okay. We leave the next day. We come back. We're up even more. I'm at like we're up like twenty five hundred bucks. Puerto Rico. Yeah, in Puerto Rico. So I'm back at the hotel. I'm like fucking hammered. I'm like, dude, this is like I found a new gig. Like this is great. Like you know, I'm on top of the world. I drunk order a Peloton because I'm like I have so much. <laughs> How much a Peloton? Fifteen hundred so bucks. So I have so much extra money, and then I'm like, the next morning we wake up, I'm like, dude, we're fucking cleaning this island out. <laughs> like, this is the real storm. And then we go back to the casino. I lose like five grand. So now I'm down like five Gs and a Peloton. Jesus and I come home, and I just have this fucking thing mocking me. It's like just taking up half my living room. of just a, the worst drunk purchase ever. Oh. So every time you see, he sees a Peloton, he's reminded well, how he's... Just wanted, just like, people are dying on this thing. Let me try this shit. Yeah, dude. I Well, I always like wanted one of them. I was like, dude, I got free money. Like, this is a good way to do it. But that's you never spend casino winnings because like you're going to lose double that if that's you keep so coming funny. back. Wow. Dude, I want to go to Puerto Rico. Before 
for none of those. We have to go to Costa Rica. I've never heard of anyone. Nah, I'm not going to Costa Rica again. What? Nah, that shit was trash when I went there. Bro. Nah, bro. You People like go. Costa Rica. I, I would go there again. They're so you nice. You know what? I went with my girl, my ex, and I was that shit was black. Nah, mine was fire. <laughs> I go pay for oh, so we were both day. poor. So <laughs> yeah. you had only one of us was poor uh, in that scenario. Uh, yeah, you you had a rich version of Costa Rica. Yeah, I got a. I definitely got a, a, a nice version, but still at the same time, I was sitting there like. You could do Costa Rica for very cheap. He got the Galapagos we fucked trip. <laughs> <laughs> he got the, the luxuries in there. Damn, boy. You know nah, don't, don't make him smile like that. <laughs> no, I love He's like, yeah, it wasn't bad. Like, he got flown out as a dick servant. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, it was yeah. great. <laughs> City boys up, huh? City boys up. <laughs> boys up. <laughs> City boy up. I'm, I'm going to make a documentary about You're it. You're a real life Lviv, man. You, you see a Tinder swindler? No, I haven't seen it. Yet. <laughs> it's, it's so uh, I, I'm 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 trying to bring it to the stage, but it is so funny. The Tinder swindler, if you know, it's an Israeli guy who yeah. um got girls for like twenty grand, thirty grand by making 50, them bro, fifty, making 60, them take out, taking loans. out loans, bro, yeah. to give to him so he can hang out with his other girlfriends and, and fucking as, as an Israeli, <laughs> yeah. That's Apparently, there's a lot of them over there that that do that though. I was watching a podcast. And they were saying I have that. a friend who like, did this. What? Really? Yeah, there was a. Uh, I don't want to get into it. You gotta get into it. He's a comic. Some, what? Some, oh, I, still doing stand up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In New York. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm not gonna say anything else. But That's yes. like a similar. He makes story him laugh all the way to what the fucking do? bank. Black, he, white, Puerto Rican. He was basically like doing a little bit of that, like a little usury. Yeah. But like, I I still love the dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's I the high, what's the highest he's ever gotten from a chick? Couple kids. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like he's he's the man. I don't want to put him he's on blast. Sold a couple of a girl's oh kids. That's fucking wild. I'm bro. dead, bro. No, but I do. I don't know. Like I love That's a awful. good scam. I really do. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't story. think Bernie Madoff did anything wrong. Me neither. Like, if you can trick <laughs> people <laughs> into giving you that much money, going like, yeah, it's a sure thing. Like fuck them. It works. On, it works Madoff on people's do? greed, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what did Bernie Madoff do? Ponzi scheme, bro. One of the largest ones. Multi billion dollar Ponzi scheme. He like basically like took like a ultra wealthy people and was like, I'll invest your money, you're gonna get twenty five percent returns. Mm -hmm. But he just wouldn't invest any of it. He was just Hell fucking yeah. Oh, um speaking of investing, stealing people's money, I mean they love this fact. I never know why they love it so much, but uh my uh my uh my Angela. <laughs> my uh not was not not grandfather, but Stepfather. um father. Your godfather. Godfather is uh the dude from um, Wolf of Wall Street. Donnie Hazoff. Donnie. The one who married his cousin yeah, and yeah, fucked yeah, his yeah, cousin. Yeah, yeah, the one that, um, not Rogan, but... Uh, Seth, uh, Seth. No, no, no. Um, the I'm telling this off. Jonah like, Hill. Jonah, Jonah Hill. Hill. Who Jonah Hill plays is like my godfather. And like him and my dad like became friends in Florida. So it's like, it is a weird thing of like, yeah, like scammers. Like, I don't know. I was always like raised around. He wasn't like, even that big of a scammer. He was just about his money. He, was, he got people to invest in shit. You believe in that shit? That's on you, he bro. Are you part from of a pump and dump company, no. bro? <laughs> You're from uh, North Carolina your entire I life? I was born upstate but raised in North Carolina. What but, do your parents do, if I can ask? I'm just curious. Well, my folks, like, they're from the former Soviet Union. Like, they had to run schemes to Hardcore, fucking yeah, survive yeah. there. Like, yeah. that was... Like, every know. immigrant parent, though. <laughs> like, my dad was selling belts scheme. in the middle of a mall in Miami at one point and, like, worked up to a company. So it's, like, a weird thing when, like, people are, like... You got daddy money. I'm like, no, I have blood money. Like, my yeah. dad literally was scammed his way through, like, every business scheme to finally have, like, a solid foundation. So it's a weird thing of, like, I was just curious. I wonder if Bernie Madoff could say the same shit. Oh, my dad had blood money. Oh, no, but they got to change their names. <laughs> Madoff's they can't do a little business, different because people, he would, like, people were, like, killing themselves and shit. Like, well, that's how you know you made money. it in your life when people are killing themselves. You know who's doing that right now? No, it's kind of similar to that. It's, like, uh, these celebrities putting out, uh, like, cryptos. Like being like, They're go, scamming in, a lot go of invest though. in this, yeah. and promise you it's going to the moon. All Dude, that crypto scam, related bro. suicides are like the number one. And it's it? teaser. Yeah. It's a scam, bro. These people are scared. And on top of that, celebrities don't know shit. They're just getting paid to get a tattoo of the fucking monkey. Get some, get this shit. It's all bullshit, bro. It's definitely all bullshit. Take your financial advice from Dylan and, and DC out here. You'll you know? make a yeah, lot yeah, of money. Straight up, straight like, up. It all comes down to like all that crypto and NFT shit. For the most part, it is people who have a lot of liquid money pressuring people who don't have a lot of liquid money <laughs> to invest their five grand into this shit. As soon as that goes up, they make their cut All on that. Money. Yeah. Oh like, they're just Christ. jacking fucking poor people. I made some money on that AMC squeeze. <laughs> did you? <laughs> you yeah, also made really money did. on Doge. I did make some money on Doge, made, too. Yo, he made so much, he made amount of money on Doge that made me infuriated that he wouldn't just text me. 
Like it was, it was ridiculous. You wouldn't just text your Kevin friend. Kevin wouldn't do that, Dylan. You wouldn't have that, Dylan. It'd be insider trick. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin wouldn't build life. up the suspense. It's so fucked up. Who doesn't just text your homies and be like, hey, Nah, because I, I was... Throw so 100 in. You might make 3,000. That's on you, bro. No, <laughs> bro. It's on you. you know, we weren't that good of friends yet. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know how much. This was money during the you, podcast. No, I'm sure. I, I didn't know how much money you had. I didn't know. I didn't. Would have helped. But sorry, right, I, I got a deal now. You didn't know if he had a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, he's a comedian. You talk about two grand dilly. You didn't know if he had a fucking hundred dollars. <laughs> Come on, bro. You're talking about two bands yeah, right here. Two I knew I should dilly. not have told you guys my gig. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad idea. You mean your new scheme? <laughs> it's not a scheme. I knew what you were going to me. I'm fucking with you, bro. Uh, should, we tell, with you. should we say? What uh, we I mean, we might as well. Uh, I, I had a, I had someone message me, and uh, I got a, a gig to do a um, bridal shower. Yeah, and they messaged me. Bridal? Like, I thought it was a baby shower. Baby shower. Sorry, thank you. Baby shower. They hit me up to do a baby shower, and they're like, hey, what's your price? And as I'm typing out the message, they're like, what's your deposit? What's everything? It was very professional. <laughs> and as I'm typing out the price, as I'm typing out the message and like what they need, what they want me to do, I was like, the price just kept going up by 100. Like Every line, every sentence I typed, I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I don't want to do this. And it got to a point of two grand of like, here's the number so ridiculous. How long do you have to do? Please say no. How long do you have Who's to do? Who's the person that hit you up? I don't know. Like a How do you know it's like a real thing? Uh, it's through a website. It's through like a gig website. So it's through like a management and like I I know what it I know what it's through. So it is know. official, but it's just funny of like Yo, be careful because the- one thing that people do is they started ripping off comics. So mm-hmm. they'd go like, oh, you know, let's agree on two grand. Then they wire you three grand. Oh, okay. And then you go. Oh yeah, I saw that. No. Yeah, and then you wire back a thousand because you're like, oh, you sent me too much. And then they, the two grand doesn't clear, and now you're just lost. By the way, grand. by the way, by the way, I, I want to know. <laughs> even if that was real and someone made an honest mistake, would never do that. You sent no. me three grand, buddy. I'm not doing your club ever again. Like I'm. <laughs> well, if they send you three grand, I would take all the money out and tell. No, I would wait for. I would wait for it to clear, and then just wait it's not patiently, yeah. and not do your club, and be like, "All right, oh, it, it cleared. Here you go." Like, yeah, that scammer behavior. Like, I mean, I saw that. Like, I don't it know. Seems I, to be a lot on yeah. Facebook and Instagram these days, though. I don't know yeah. what it is. It's Yo, like, you know, it's, it's wild when you see a friend get caught. Like, bro, you that you, dumb, bro? How many friends' pages get hacked, though. Have you guys been seeing that shit? Yeah, no, Have no, you no. seen the hostage videos? No. What? what? Do you not know about this? What is this? When, uh, so the the thing that, that was getting comedians when it was like they send the three thousand or whatever, they would get your Instagram account, and once they got your Instagram account, they'd get you again by going, "Hey, if you really want your Instagram account, make a video saying all these things, ho- holding up a piece of paper with your the date and your Instagram name, and you say all these things, and we'll just know what we'll, we'll we'll get what we wanted, and we'll send it back to you." You send them the video, and I just started seeing pe- like videos of like my friends going like, "Hey guys, this isn't a scam. Look, I'm holding a piece of paper that says my name. Go to Rayban slash slash dot yeah, com to yeah. go get a free pair of rape." And you, they just post that on their page for like a week, and you just watch them go like, "Um, oh, I don't think I'm getting my page back anytime yeah. soon." And it's sad. I never yeah. seen that. You know, dude, the, the 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 hostage videos are hilarious on like Instagram of just being like, "Can I please have my Instagram my account bro- back?" My brother got caught with one of those. No, I was dying. Isn't it bro? funny? It is so it's funny, so funny, bro. funny. But also put it in perspective, like how bad he's doing. <laughs> Right, like he he's really desperate for money. That is what it shows for a lot of comedians. Yeah. You're like, oh damn, I didn't know this comedian needed two hundred dollars that bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, dude. Fucking, you know, young comics and shit. That's like, yeah, I guess. Man, I think the average comic will go no one, three grand without like a paid gig. How do you not like, see through that, bro? Desperation is real. It's, bro. it's like what we're talking about with the Madoffs and the fucking crypto schemes. Like you're, all, it's Play all playing grief. off of people's hopes. Mm-hmm. Every scheme is playing off of hope. So and it's people, like to you, it's like, oh, I'm getting two hundred for this gig. Right. But to them, it's like a validator that hold they on, might you, have a on, career on, one day. Add a zero to his to his shit. Yeah, bro. Chill, bro. No, I'm his saying price like, is not like, today's price. <laughs> no, I'm saying like even like two hundred yeah. bucks to yeah. somebody. It like, works on self esteem. It makes no, you like oh yeah. maybe this. I'm talking a lot true. of shit. I got got for five hundred early on in my career. Word? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. never said this. Go ahead. I got, I got got. I got got, dude. I don't, I've never told you. I don't think I've ever told you yeah. either. I got got got. I had a dude. The story of how Dylan lost five hundred drink <laughs> tickets. I got I got got for five hundred dollars, and it was a dude who was um. I'm so mad right now, actually. It, it still boils my my uh, my fucking boils me up. 
This dude hit me up on like Instagram and goes, "Yo, uh, I'm in L- I'm in uh, L. A. I work with all these people. I work with David Dobrik and all these people." And uh, uh, he knew what to say to you. Too. And, yeah, he did. <laughs> and uh, he goes, "You do not know David <laughs> Dobrik, dude." <laughs> so he goes, he goes, "Yo, I see your page." And he goes, "I work with a management team." Uh, give me a. He goes, "Send me five hundred dollars, and like we'll manage your page. You know, help you get more exposure and all these things." You fell for that. And doggy, yo, he fell for that. You, Augie, <laughs> he's pay yo everything. So I I, I sent him five hundred dollars PayPal. <laughs> oh my god! And uh, one post he helped boost. Next post he helped boost, and then never wasn't responding to my DMs or anything. And it got to a point where like four, five, six, seven months, I would like every once in a while I would be like, "You're a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> So you're sour. a bitch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I can honestly go by. The messages start to get crazy. I go, every three or four months, bro, he'd post something like a story. And I respond to it. I'd be like, you know, you a bitch, right? <laughs> he's like, and, he, Dylan's like, still and, doesn't get it though. He's like, and tell David Dobrik I said, he's a bitch. <laughs> it's probably, you're probably hanging out with that guy. And spending you're, my you're, money. Are you with David right now? I want to be with David. You just see David's next video. I'm like, we're giving away $500 <laughs> to the first. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, but this is the funny part is, I should even say, I didn't, I didn't even say this part. When it first happened, he didn't respond to my text, and I was getting annoyed. So I went to PayPal and was like, "Give me my money back." And PayPal goes, "We got you. Here's your money back." Wow. And he responds to me immediately and goes, "Yo, bro, I was doing stuff. I was with David Dobrik." And I was like, "Oh, dude, my bad." And I no. canceled it. <laughs> and I canceled it. No. And oh, one. <laughs> This is go through. Bro, you are cock, bro. Oh, man, wow. That's so bad. <laughs> you got real life cock, bro. That is so bad. That is insane. You I never did. brought that up. He you were ashamed, bro. I know me. you were. I'm so I'm ashamed. You ashamed, ashamed bro. Oh. And, and I canceled it and I watched him go. All right, good. Appreciate that. <laughs> and then he got his money back. So every three months, I'd send you a bitch. And then one day, finally, I uh, he posted he's at a restaurant in New York. I said, I love that restaurant. I'm pulling up. He goes, yo, cho, 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 cho. And he never responded to anything. Anything. And he should have pulled up. And by the way, you guys were the, 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 the people. Uh, in my head, I was like, I'm going to text DC and Kevin. <laughs> we're going to do a podcast. <laughs> like, we're going to pull up with four microphones and a Zoom. And, <laughs> and meet David Dober. <laughs> yeah. we're gonna get, guys, we're getting Dober on the podcast. Oh, my God, God bro. And, um. And I remember he, uh, he at was, the end of the hour, <laughs> Dylan just has like one tear in his eye. He's like, "Do you even really know David, or were you lying about you that too?" You know what? I don't think you even know David. <laughs> Dover. Do you even like this restaurant? <laughs> I made a oh reservation for four for nothing. That guy yeah. was basically your fucking Tinder swindler. Like, if you yeah. showed up and or were like. If I'm gonna show up with a gun or give me my five hundred dollars back, Natalie. what do you no, think he would have well, said? Natalie, don't put that on my mouth. <laughs> no, if you had said that to him, what do you think he would have said? Natalie, how often does somebody say to you, Natalie, don't put that in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Not often enough. Oh, Not often God. enough. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? Uh, but uh, I. Uh, Damn, Should I tell bro. you guys the other lay? Oh, my God. No way, bro. You got scammed again? <laughs> <laughs> so he would hit me up. He was like, yo, I'm at dinner with David Dobrik right now. Send me $200. Nice. I'll why are you, I'll save why you, are you so easily sold by David Dobrik? Like, who uh, gives a fuck? He just came here, bro? I'll save you a seat. If you, yeah, you, what year you was Venmo me $200 right now. So I said, you know what? Bro. No, no, There's no, no way you get me again three times. So run the tables. Nah, I'm joking. What year was this? Uh, was, I'm like, well, I'm like, 18? Yeah, it's like my first. This is when, when he you. was. When no, no, he... no, I didn't get got again. I did some petty sad shit, and that's what I. I you, you guys I, didn't have to know him. To be honest, when he liked David, Dorf. I rather <laughs> have gotten got for another two hundred dollars than did what I did. What did you do? do? So he posted he's at dinner with his uh with his chick, and he goes, "Yo, I'm at." He's like, posted he's at a nice New York dinner, and I messaged him, and I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna pull up. I love that spot." And I named the spot. Like, by the way, some psycho shit like. Did the lineup of like where he was at, found like the inside. I was like, oh, you're at this place. I love that place. And did all that. And he goes, yo, chill. And then he tags his girlfriend. I DM the girlfriend. That's who he's at dinner with. And I go, hey, just let you know your boy's a scammer. You might want to get out of that spot. I'm coming to see him. And she just, and he just hit me up with like, bro, why are you messaging my girl? I was like, if I don't get uh, my money back in my uh, PayPal right now, I'm pulling up. And we just went back and forth. 
And uh, I don't know what he said to defuse it. I could see it, but um, still, I don't have my money back. <laughs> he defused you? Yo, he's basically he he's you, the God, dude this. from Tinder Swiller, bro. He, yo, really dude was like, he's like, uh, me and my bodyguard got hit right yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> my I'll enemies are after you. me. My enemies are after me. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? I can't believe that happened to you, bro. I, I, did, some I, bitch, I did some bitch shit. That's not like, some bitch shit. I was like, your boyfriend's a scammer. I'm going to get his ass. Yeah, but she probably knows. Yeah, she knows. Oh, she loves scammers like their chicks. She was probably the one DMing him, bro. That's the weird part. Bro. He's like, your boyfriend's a scammer. She just sends back a Chanel bag. She's yeah. like, I know. I know, motherfucker. Oh you pay God. for this, Mark. He's like, he owes me $700. <laughs> She's like, that's the exact cost of my bag. Yeah. Did you almost plot a loan to meet David Dobrik? Uh, no. Uh, no <laughs> longer. You, honestly, no longer. You would have. Though. No, but I wouldn't. You would have asked your dad to borrow yeah. some money. <laughs> He's like, yo, dad, bust open that credit line real quick. Let me use it. Never. Were you like, like really into YouTubers and shit before you started uh, coming? Yeah, I was doing like vlogs and shit. And like, oh, yeah, really? I was doing it, vlogs with him. And, my yeah. guy was out of his mind, bro. I had <laughs> I his that. number saved in my phone as Dylan Vlogger. This guy was like... He would text you with so That's many emojis, bro. I tell people when I met Dylan, I thought he came out of the internet, bro. Like he was just he's like, yeah, let's film, let's film, let's film. Just David Dobrik, bro. David Dobrik, got to film every day. We got to do that, bro. This guy was on it, but like crazy, bro. Everybody thought Dylan was crazy, bro. Like it was really. I just changed uh, that. <laughs> it was passion for, I guess, stand up and like. You yeah, put it, was, it in the right place, bro. I mean, the and balance is out. like between the two. But like, I, I just don't get any of that content. It's like, I, but that's you guys want to flirt in a Tesla? I, so like, was, <laughs> I didn't like. We we worked some things out. We made some cool so shit. Like, but I didn't initially get like the one because I was just trying to get good at comedy, try to book acting roles and all this shit. He was like, listen, no, that they, got me a job here. No, no, which, it did. It all worked. But I'm just saying, like yeah. initially, it was like, yo, we got to vlog and put content you out. Get we got to do all these scenarios and stuff. I'm just like, bro, this shit is like. It just felt weird to, and the audience was different because he was but, like, "We got to hit these fourteen-year-old audience," and I was whoa, like, dude, whoa, fuck whoa, these whoa, kids. Whoa, chill." No content wise, no. David Dobrik's content is for fourteen-year-olds. Dylan, twelve Dalia years old, ten years yeah. old. Yeah. Bro. Wow. <laughs> like, no, but, but also Dylan was twenty years old when he got. He yeah. was. Yeah. It, that's what I'm no, trying to say. Like, like, yeah, nineteen, twenty when I moved here. Nineteen. You were you were twenty. You were 20. Gotta, Don't try to make me, it. Like, he helped me. No, I was nineteen. Um, he got a he got me a job at his rooftop bar, and I remember like when I finally turned twenty. 21 working in that bar they were like oh it's your birthday how old are you i was like 21 they're like it was like it was like that i've been working there for a year and a half and what it was, was the bar uh arlo rooftop bar i don't know that one <laughs> you know, the, like, I haven't, you know they were on the news for being racist but <laughs> yeah that, that was the, the lady yelled at the kid them, like, they thought they had like the phone like her phone and it actually it blew up insane she like flew to arizona the cops got her in arizona it was insane but she's wearing like an arlo hoodie I was like, so I have one of those. They're vintage. If you want to buy right now, a racist hoodie. How so, do they, how do they get you to take that job? They're like David Dobrik pops up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, just, I saw we saw Carmelo Anthony there. He went to that place. I saw Melo there. I saw ASAP Ferg there. I saw. Uh, I don't David Dobrik. Dobr <laughs> I'm gonna meet David Dobrik. No, I don't care anymore. I've actually lost that. You should, know, if you ever do meet David Dobrik, you. you should mention that he owes you money. That's <laughs> really like, funny. Just so you know, I, you, your management team owes me money. Yeah. He'd probably yeah. give it to Honestly, you. He's so point, scared of being point, canceled, bro. At this point, we could probably get him on his podcast, bro. You know, uh, like, John, John right Stamos now. would be in David Dobrik's like vlogs. Mm -hmm. And when I saw John Stamos at the stand, he just a beam of handsome, and he's John Stamos. Full House. Jesse. Full House? Okay. Yeah. Motherfucking Jesse from Full House. Half Mercy. killed Bob Saget. <laughs> uh, Yo, that murder's weird, bro. I like bro. that theory, though. I like that theory. That mur I mean, that murder. That death. <laughs> that, that, that death is no, weird. No, but when I saw John Stamos, I looked at him and I was like, and he like, I looked at him I was like, hey, man, I love you from David's uh, David's vlogs. No. Oh, man. you're a piece of shit. Because I didn't want to say, I, for me, it was so funny. It was like, not, the, not Full House, nothing. Yeah. Not Uncle Jesse. I was like... Hey you know man, what? Yeah, but actors vlogs. get it though. They no, no, know no. that's the game. He though. looked over and he, the biggest smile ever, just goes, "Oh, dude, thank you so much." And I was like, I, as like a loser, I literally had to be like, I was kind of joking. I love you guys, Jesse. Also, he was like, "No, no, dude, David's vlogs rules. I love David." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, me too." Um, he owes me five hundred. Uh, <laughs> Fucking A. I'm glad you grew out of that shit, though, bro. I am. Yeah. And on that note, this is doped up. Yes. Oh, is this where my black eye is? Where is yes. It? yes. It's right there. No, I yes. feel it now. <laughs> See, I told you, he, he knows time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I you are going to respar Lewis, though. No, he's not, bro. Not a, that shit's over. Know, no, no, he can do it. Nah, nah, nah. He doesn't need to do that shit. Why? Are you his management team? I know, it feels like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> my Don King. <laughs> we are the bigger and better We're things, way past so. that. <laughs> <laughs> Only in America. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get him on Rough and Rowdy. He's going to fight uh, Dave Portnoy. Yeah. 
That's the wave. That's the move right there, yo. I just Fuck. come dressed as the Washington Post. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the Washington Post stories are the best. Yeah, they're like, we have, Oh, no, I'm talking about the New York Post, yeah. actually. We have evidence that Pornoy has killed four women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I killed their yeah. pussy because I founded a company. Okay? I deserve it. I work hard. I'm in the Hamptons. It's fucking I eat pizza. Central. He definitely sounds like that. One that bite. Everyone knows the rules. Like yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what he says when he eats pussy. He comes back up. He's like, one lick. Everybody knows the rules. What are you talking about? About. Yeah. Did you think Dave Porter rates pussy? Oh, that'd be great. You know who yeah. does? I always think about great, this. Though. Gordon Ramsay. Imagine him going down on a girl. And, <laughs> right? Come on, let's do that sketch. No, but this imagine the him worst going fish <laughs> of ever. <laughs> this is terrible. Why the fuck is this, mate? Why is it brown? <laughs> <laughs> That would just be ridiculous. Probably he terrifying. Calls, for it's a like girl. Also, he calls. He's like, it's like a wife that's cheating. He calls in the husband. He goes, "When's the last time you've cleaned this?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come look at this. Thing. Look at this cross. He just throws her he pussy against a, the wall. And just fucking he takes her <laughs> panties, puts it in. So look at this fucking dish. <laughs> Oh my there's God. no saving this. What's with the texture, also, the color? You know, you know when he grabs like there's like mold and Gore Ramsey doesn't care, he'll like pick it up with his hands. Oh. Like, he's like wipes like the crust. He's like, what is this? It's fucking fried salami in it. <laughs> just, just some disgusting shit. I'm so so whoever wants to help me flesh end. that sketch out, cool, let's do it. Yo, this I'm is Doped Up and sketches. Dying, the Sunday morning smoke show. This is Leffer. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, DC. I'm Kevin Sanchez. We out of here. Woo! Guys, thank you for watching the last episode. Please like and subscribe, follow. And make sure to go to the new YouTube page, Doped Up Podcast on YouTube. We'll give that a follow. We're pushing all the episodes to the Doped Up YouTube page now. So all the new episodes will be up there. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit the bell.